Good morning, Lions. Happy Monday to you and happy February. We have crossed over to a new month since last time you were at school. Welcome to February and welcome back to a wonderful week ahead. Today, we would like to welcome Mr. Bowman. He will be subbing in music all day long. He'll actually sub for Miss Stump in the morning and Mr. Bytus in the afternoon. Please make him feel very welcome um, and follow your directions and rules and let's have a great day in music today. Uh, Miss Carlson is also gone and subbing in her place is Mrs. Brithauer. There's not a sub for Miss Brithauer, so we might have some people in different positions throughout the day, but we will do our very best to make sure that everything is covered. Uh, if you need something and there is not the normal person that you have there um, or nobody in their place, um, please feel free to check in at the office or in Miss Carlson's room and we will do our best to make sure that that, that happens. All right, lunch in the cafeteria today is chicken gravy over mashed potatoes. And tomorrow for breakfast, I don't remember reading this before, but it sounds like it might be a fun breakfast. It's called a fast start bar and a cheese stick. So I'm guessing it's some kind of a breakfast bar or a cereal bar. Hopefully it's um, enjoyable. All right, uh, this really makes me excited today because the temperature is not looking too shabby outside. Um, you know Mrs. Homan does not like being cold and today is a day for February that we could say is fairly nice and mild. Our current temperature is 27. We do have a slight wind. It feels like 17 degrees. That mild wind will continue throughout the day around 10 miles an hour, but there will be abundant sunshine as well. Uh, our expected high, get this, 61 degrees. And at lunchtime, it will be between 52 and 59 degrees. So definitely double check that temperature before you decide to go outside without a coat. Take into consideration that wind chill. Make really good choices. You can't put it on if you don't take it with you. All right, so um, we don't have birthdays to celebrate today, but there are a whole lot of celebrations. In fact, I didn't even write all of them down. Um, this first one, many of you have already heard. It is Groundhog Day, and that groundhog did see his shadow today. Um, it is also California Kiwi Fruit Day, so it's a great day to enjoy some kiwi fruit. Um, maybe the sticker will tell you where it's from, and if it's from California, then there you go. You're celebrating today. Crepe Day. Crepes are really, really thin pancakes, and today would be a great day to have crepes. Um, Along the line of shadowing, since we're having Groundhog Day and we're talking about shadows, uh, Job Shadow Day. It's a great day to to kind of walk behind somebody that you want to, um, that has a profession you would like to do in the future and see what it's all about. It's called Job Shadow Day. Ukulele Day. Uh, I wish Mrs. Stump was here because I'm kind of sure she plays a, a ukulele. Maybe we could talk her into um, maybe bringing it in and doing that on We Are Family Friday on Friday. I'll talk to her. I'm pretty sure she plays that. Um, this is a fun one. It's Tater Tot Day. Um, I wish I would have known when I made my menu board because I have tater tots on my, on my menu for the week, but not today. Um, I'll have to write that down for next year. Uh, again, kind of going along with Groundhog's Day, it is self-renewal day. And sometimes I share with you the little quotes that are on my calendar. This is what today says. It kind of goes along with self-renewal day. Today a groundhog will decide the weather, but you will decide what happens in your life. So this is a great day for you to set new goals to kind of renew. Um, if things aren't exactly the way you want them, you're in control of that and you can make those changes. A sled dog day. I'll have to talk to Ms. Mrs. Lackey and see if we're still going to do the um, Iditarod information that we do. I'm not even sure where that is with COVID and everything, so um, that could definitely have some changes in it, but it's usually the time of year we start talking about um, the Iditarod, and fifth grade really enjoys that project, um, and it's sled dog day. So um, this is an entire week, and I think that this is something that we should celebrate, not just today, but the rest of the week. It is school counselors week. So when Miss Martin comes into your classroom, let her know how much you appreciate her, how glad we are that she is a moral lion and she is here to help us. 
um, be the best that we can be. And if we're ever having struggles, um, she's a great person to listen and kind of help us through those. Um, so happy School Counselors Week to Mrs. Martin. It is Heavenly Hash Day. And um, again, it's Groundhog Day, but we don't want to leave any of our other rodent friends out. It is also Hedgehog Day and Marmot Day. So lots and lots that we can celebrate today. All right. Now, since it's Trivia Tuesday, I also have some trivia for you regarding Groundhog Day. Uh, you can impress your family if you remember these facts tonight. So the tradition of predicting the weather dates back to the Dark Ages. Uh, medieval Candlelamas Day, they always pre predicted a winter weather extending for six days um, when there's bright light and a long dreary winter. Now, I don't know about you, but I can look at the calendar and it says the first day of spring every time on the calendar and it doesn't ever change even if the groundhog sees a shadow. And then we have that silly weather, like sometimes we have snow in June. So, you know, it is a fun tradition and it is always kind of crazy to see if he gets to see a shadow, but really we still celebrate winter and the end of winter and the beginning of spring on the same day every year. Puxatawney Phil is the only true weather forecaster. Um, there are other groundhogs, they're imposters. Some of those are Buckeye Chuck in Ohio and General Be Beauregard Lee in Georgia. Um, groundhogs whistle um, when they're scared they whistle and they also whistle when um, when they start courting in the spring okay um, German immigrants in Pennsylvania are the first ones who started celebrating Groundhog Day the first um, official Groundhog Day at Gobbler's Knob where Puxatawney Phil lives um, was in 1887. So, um, we've been celebrating this for a long time. Um, there is a movie called Groundhog Day. It premiered in 1993. Um, this is something I didn't know about that movie, but Bill Murray, who was one of the actors in that movie, uh, he actually got bit by the groundhog two times and he had to have rabies shots. Um, so, you know, don't hold on to groundhogs. It's not very safe. Okay, so there's some trivia for you. And let's end our morning um, announcements with some s local celebrations. This first one, Alexa Cook has completed addition facts. Good job, Alexa. Kindergarten's been working hard. Brooklyn Green has passed 24 iReady lessons. Easton Sauer, 29 iReady lessons. Hannah Gompert, 21 iReady Lessons. Hunter Hill, 18 iReady Lessons. Jackson Zellhofer, 18 iReady Lessons. Liam Rodriguez, 21 iReady Lessons. Maddox Bullen, 23 iReady Lessons. Peyton Sell, 11 iReady Lessons. Wayne Gamel, 19 iReady Lessons. Grayson Center, Center, 29, 26, excuse me, iReady Lessons. Bentley Humphrey, 14 iReady Lessons. Marshall Howell, 25 iReady Lessons. Juanita Massey, 15 iReady Lessons. Maverick Williams, 15 iReady Lessons. Jocelyn Chavez, 25 iReady Lessons, and Colton Haig, 35 iReady Lessons. Wow, everyone, keep up the good work. All right, I think that that is actually everything I have for you today. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday, a great Groundhog's Day, enjoy that sunshine, and let's have a fabulous week. <laughs>